name is Wainur Fatini Bintu Wansaiti, number matrix 2643307. So today I would like to present about overview of the Google's company. Google in full is Google LLC, formerly Google Inc., 1998 until 2017. American search engine company founded in 1998 by Sergey Brin and Larry Page. That is a subsidiary of the holding company Alphabet Inc. Google is one of the wealthiest and all pervasive companies in the world and the company history itself is a story of classic entrepreneurism, hard work and a little luck. Google was inspired by the mathematical terms. Sergey and Larry choose to name their search engine as Google as a variation of these mathematical terms because it related to the enormity of the task of organizing the immense amounts of information that was available on the internet. So every company have their own mission and motto so that they can achieve their target within their time frame. So for Google's mission is to organize the world information and make it universally accessible and useful. Their motto has been replaced in 2015 is do the right thing. Along with e-commerce companies like Amazon and eBay, Google has been categorizing as an internet services and retailing by Fortune magazine. The retail part of the Google business is found in the Google Store, which is filled with Google local merchandise like solar-powered pedometers, slinkies, baby blankets, and denim pencils. My name is Ainur Atika Binti Mabaneza. My magic number is 264152. Okay, I will continue with the overview of the Google's company HR activity. In Google's company, Two human resource activities which are very important which are employee training and performance planning. In employee training, it focuses on relation of organization and the employees. It encourages each staff to participate in creative and innovative ventures. The performance-oriented approach reflects on training performance such as conversations, reviews and on-the-job training. Uh, for example, if new workers perform their best at this company, he or she has the big opportunity or chance to become a part of Google's organization. Second, performance planning. It related to the management goal to ensure that employees remain capable uh, in promoting the organization business operations. In the interview, Google include the workers' expertise talents and skills and other attractive characteristics to ensure that they select the best employee to their company and give benefits to them. Okay, my name is Nurul Fikrah Binti Fawzi, metric number 264150. Okay, I will explain about the issue with the Google's company HRM activity. Okay, it has never been an easy job to handle human resource in an organization. Okay, there are a few issues faced by the Google's company HRM activity. Okay, firstly, recruiting talented employees. Attra uh, attracting talent is a huge investment of time and money. And of course, every company wants to hire talented people to work for them. However, being talented is an... Uh, uh, an art in which there must be voluntary work and enthusiasm like Google's company. Okay. Secondly, retaining talented employees. Many organizations want to be able to retain their employees because it benefits their organization in the long run. Today, there are many organizations with high employee turnovers. High employee turnover can cause organization uh, at high expenses and can demonstrate a negative outcome on organization. Okay, thirdly, workforce training and development. If millions are chasing the dream of working at Google, the reason is that working there can be the most rewarding experience of life. It has our policies target employee satisfaction and empowerment. Okay, lastly, workforce diversity. Google's company address issue around its treatment of women and specifically of sexual harassment. Sexual harassment allegation. In the report was the allegation that Andy Rubin left the company after he was accused of sexual misconduct and was handed $90 million package on his way out. He denies the allegation related to this issue, HRM should implement street rules and regulation. I will explain every solution that has implemented by Google company. The first solution is requiring talented employees. 
requiring talented employees mean Google has created a distinctive corporate culture when the company attracted people from prestigious college around the world. Even so, the requirement process is not as easy as the applicant has to go through a long and complicated process. It takes a few things before requiring. Next solution for the second issue is retaining talented employees. It means to develop employee retention techniques is the best method to ensure that the required number of employees remain employed by, uh, while maintaining job performance and productivity. If employees are satisfied with their job and their organization, this can lower their earnings rate. Lombardo stated that Google uh, success is based on its high quality human resources. The company generally cares about intelligence and excellence among the employees. Uh, besides that, Google has created a work environment that fosters continuous learning for a solution to the issues that arise. Employees will have uh, opportunities for continuous learning and growth through this measure. This measure. Google also provides special training programs related to presentation skill, content development, management, and leadership. For the last issues, workforce diversity regarding to sexual harassment. The Google company has taken the solution uh, to fire 48 employees for sexual harassment. Chief Executive for Google company Sundar Pichai said uh, that they are deep serious about making sure that they provide a safe and uh, inclusive workplace. They want to uh, assure that they review and every single complaint about sexual harassment and take action about the issues. My name is Wan Ain Adlina Binti Shewan Mansur. My matrix number 264187. For today, I'm going to talk about the conclusion of human resource management by Google company. As clearly we can see that human resource management play a really important role to make sure the productivity of the company is safe. As for human resource department of Google company, they also play an important role to make sure their employee, their employee have really high of self self motivation in a state of where they need to make sure that their employee have really good motivation to make sure they can clearly continue their work even though they work from home. As we can as we know as well, we are now facing up the pandemic of COVID-19 where everything will be affected by the COVID-19 and we can see clearly all the company, schools of even or even university are closed. The new structure of work from home have been introduced and this is one of kind of challenges for a human resource department of Google company. They need to make sure that they have a really strong structure to make sure their employee has 100% commitment even though they work from home. So, as a conclusion for this Google company, they already achieved a lot of things. But without a good human resource department they have, they will never achieve all of these things. Without, with that, I end my speech. Thank you.